On Friday, just 30 minutes before the market closed, somebody dumped about 781,000 507 US dollars into buy and genomic stock. Somebody bought about 121,920 shares of bio nanogenomics just when the market was still open. You know, while most retail traders were checking out, we saw a massive, massive rally on Friday. And I went online on live stream, shirtless, talking about BNGO for over two hours. What's going on investors? My name is Dio. Welcome to Frankla Investments. Here you can find a lot of information about bio nanogenomic stock. Every day I post at least one video from Sunday to Sunday. I don't want to bombard you guys with too much information so I always take my time, okay? Now if you are new on this channel, you know what to do. If you want to join the channel, it's cost about 99 cents. Every day you can, you know, try to advise me, you know, support me, support the channel so that I can come online every day and post information about buy an genomics which of course hopefully is going to help you to save of, or make better decision on your investment in this company in order to make money or save money of course let's dive into it so before we go to um before we go deep into uh, other news relating to the price action of buy an genomics and what institutional investors have been doing on the fourth of um, this month you guys can see on friday somebody dumped about 781,507 US dollars into BNGO. This is on Thursday. Somebody bought about 1.3 million shares of bio nanogenomics on Thursday. And on Thursday at the same time, there was three large buyings on Thursday. You guys can see here, 1 million shares of BNGO was also bought on Thursday. And right here, 850,000 shares of bio nanogenomics was also bought on Thursday. But on Wednesday, somebody bought about um, 653,000 of BNGO shares, about 105,000 shares on wednesday and this is on tuesday somebody bought about 739,000 us dollars you know worth of bngo shares so every day institutional investors or big retail investors with large money dump money into bio nano genomics now this is the uh percentage of institutional investors right now invested in bngo and right now at the moment we have about 139 institutional owners of bngo it used to be 138 as at friday uh, when i made my last video but right now we have one more institutional investors jumping on board okay so right now this institutions hold a total of 43 million you know 43.4 million shares of bio nano genomics that is huge guys i mean that is huge now if you go down a little bit you can see the latest filing this is from fort on friday lehman and their fellow financial resources llc they bought about 27,800 shares of bio nanogenomics with an average price of 5.58 us dollars of course this is a filing this is a 13 f slash a filing so that is what they bought in the first quarter of 2021 not what they bought immediately on friday these are filings of what institutional investors have been doing before this quarter okay next quarter i'm going to be bringing you guys more information on these filings and let you guys know what is going on and another reason for you to subscribe to the channel so like always a big shout out to cisco trader this guy always bring amazing information he shared a tweet and he said bngo was added to rooted 3000 index fund yesterday of course binary genomics is not the only company added to the rusel 3000 fund and of course this is very good for us okay it means we have more large buyers you know more large investors institutional investors of bio nanogenomics and it means this company at least is going to stay unstable okay i mean you can find a lot of uh, uh company that are also into this fund i mean this fund is not only invested in bngo you can find for example akimoto is a new company in usa consumer uh, discretionary okay you can find other companies like beam global for example it's also a new company so this of course is good for bio nanogenomics that we are also you know in this index fund it means we are not useless okay it means for the long run this is good because we are talking about diamond hands this kind of funds they don't just buy and sell the second day or like we will with us that panic out they always hold on to their position so shout out to cisco trader for this amazing information let's go to the next page so this is a retweet from bio genomics on um on thursday i believe they said you know they retweeted something from phase genomics which says study confirms best method for um best method to assemble the high quality genomes using our proximal high c path bio long grids external 10x genomics scaffolding and bio nanogenomics optical maps 
method to be used to complete the vertebrate genomes project so this is another large project out there in my previous video talking about you know simon and ark invest and the human genome project vertebrate genomes is bigger than the human genome project in my opinion because this is not just about humans this is about animals not just humans okay i'm going to show you guys in the next page so this right here is an amazing news which puts bionic genomics next to pack bio and 10x genomics let's go to the next page so this is the vertebrate genomes project okay the vertebrate genomes project is a project which aims to generate high quality complete reference genomes of all 66,000 vertebrate species okay 66,000 species guys i mean we, if you talk about the human genome project it's just one species okay now we are talking about 66,000. it is an international cooperation project with members from over more than you know 50 separate institutions and was launched in february 2017 so it's very good that binary genomics is part of this of course all you know genomic sequencing technology out there or up to, all genome technology has to be part of this kind of thing so that they don't miss anything what binary genomics can do and on um, the sequencing technology cannot do binary genomics is going to cover up and whatever it is that illumina for example can do that bngo cannot do illumina will cover up for it so that's why it is good that they at least are using bngo in this research so this right here is an example of vertebrates you guys can see the human we have the cats we have the platypus we have the tiger the zebrafish giant panda kakapo horse wolf zebra finch and so on and so forth you know it's a lot okay so um yeah that's all about vertebrate species